Now, let us study about the president of India. If the prime minister is the head of the government, the president is the head of the country. He is like the queen of Britain who has nominal powers. Since he is indirectly elected, so he is not as powerful as the prime minister of India and is like a rubber stamp. As far as the election of the president is concerned, first of all we must know that he is elected indirectly by the ministers or the by the members of the parliament and the state legislative assemblies who have been directly elected by the people. And he is appointed or he is actually elected by the system of proportional representation by a single transferable vote in a secret ballot system. So, just remember the president election indirectly elected by the elected members of the parliament and the state legislative assembly and the system is called proportional representation the vote is single transferable that it, it is being transferred from one to another and in a secret ballot system. After the election of the president, we must know about the powers of the president. As far as the powers of the president is concerned, the legislative powers, he actually nominates two members of the Anglo-Indian community to the Lok Sabha and one-sixth of the member to the Rajya Sabha. He passes ordinances and he can, he passes ordinances when the parliament is not in session and he can summon, dissolve or even prorogue the central legislative. Unless he does not sign the bill, it does not become a law and to become a law that means his signature is a requirement. As far as money bill is concerned, he can once again send back the money bill to the Lok Sabha for reconsideration. As far as his executive functions are concerned, the prime minister first of all appoints the prime minister and the council of ministers. But it is all done as, a, as required by the Prime Minister. Then he can declare war and peace with any country. He also receives credentials of the ambassadors of other countries. So as far as the powers are concerned in namesake, he seems to be a very influential person. But in, practical, in practicality or rather in practice, he is not that powerful and he just acts on the advice of the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers.